Hello, it's David from David Sabre Electrical and I'm here today to talk about maintenance free junction boxes and connectors and I have here an array of um, Wago bits and bobs. Now, um, well, I, I'm not sure if it is pronounced Wago or Vargo. Someone once told me they were German, although uh, it's, uh, it actually says made in China on there, so goodness knows. But, uh, well, you can't teach an old dog new tricks, and what can I say? I never could get used to saying Nike instead of Nike either. Not that I have anything from either Nike or Nike, because I'm far too untrendy and all my clothes come from George at Asda or from Screwfix. However, um, the reason why I want to talk about these things today is because I've had a just come back from an emergency call out where I've actually seen one go wrong. And I must say at this stage, it wasn't a Wago uh, model. But if we have a, a, a look at uh, some of the things that they offer here, <coughs> these are push fit um, connectors. And this one, the particular one is a four way. So four wires can go in there. It'll take, I can't remember what this one is now. Is it one mil to up to 2.5? Yeah. Um, so I've got a, a bit of one mil here and it, when you push it in the spring clip holds it in that ain't going to come out and unlike a screw terminal which can work loose over time that's considered to be a maintenance free connection same as a crimp um, so you can use it somewhere where access is going to be troublesome afterwards for example if you're putting in a junction that's going to be uh, under a floor uh, perhaps covered over by laminate flooring where you just can't get back to it afterwards or if it's going to be above a ceiling which is being um, reboarded, replastered and therefore going to be fairly inaccessible without breaking into final finishes to um, to get back to it afterwards. Uh, some people think that you can't get these back out again. They do actually make them so you can come out. It does take a bit of twisting but it will come back out again and that's still a perfectly usable connector. Still very strong as it goes back into the same hole there. Still tough, isn't coming out good product I really like it uh, the only thing I would say is if you have twisted it to get it back out again it's sometimes worth um, cutting and re-terminating the end just to make sure that the the copper um, there hasn't been nicked or weakened in any way because what you don't want to do is shove it in and have it break off because then that that is going to be uh, impossible to retrieve the the bit of copper that's left in there um, if you don't want to go for that sort of connector they do a lever type as well, and there's a couple of different lever types. I like the uh, the 221 series here, which is the slightly more expensive, but is the um, the clear finish. So again, you can see this is a particular one is a three-way, and the wire goes in, and this time a lever will clamp it down, uh, but it's easily releasable. We tend to use these, for example, <coughs> somewhere where um, you want to put in a temporary connection when you're on a... Um, perhaps a first fix environment and you're doing your uh, dead testing making sure that everything works uh, we stick these on do all our tests and then we can easily take them off again for uh, when the we're ready to put the actual accessories in place if, um, if that's the kind of environment we are in and they do um, various sizes this one will take um, a six mil cable again three away uh, good for um, those circuits like a cooker circuit where you've got a, a bit of a thicker cable to, to cope with and you just need to e extend it or whatever. The only thing they don't do which I, I wish they did is uh, like a Y splitter cable so if you're installing a socket spur onto a piece of um, a ring circuit um, into you cut the, the two and a half ring circuit uh, it'd be nice if they had some kind of Y connector so you could re-splice that and then still take your spur off it uh, missing a bit of a gap in the market there I think but you never know maybe they'll come up with something later uh, they also have the Wago boxes which are actually made by Connects Box um, again someone wants to me they're a different company to, to Wago themselves I don't know if that's true or not but um, they certainly always have the separate stands when I go to the Elect shows at the Rico Arena every year you can pop these open I'm not a huge fan of the Connects Box boxes uh, I do use a lot of them um, but there's some flaws to it. I don't like these sharp uh, edges within, which can make it um, can sometimes catch and nick a bit of insulation if you're not careful about how you, you're working with it and how you close it. And these uh, cord grips are just useless. I mean, if you're putting a couple of 2.5s in, I know you, you can adjust where they're supposed to go, but half the time I end up pulling the damn things out. They don't, don't seem to have any effect at all other than to really push open the box and prevent you from getting the lid closed again in any kind of form. Um, these, uh, do they fall into the category of maintenance free boxes? Yes they do because they are marked. I don't know if the camera can see that with an MF symbol to indicate they are maintenance free. Very difficult for it to pick out but it is there. And also it's sealable 
via a cable tie through the hole here which means that it can't be reopened without the use of a tool. Uh, I don't know why you'd bother cable tying them or why the regulations say you should. Uh, personally I don't. Um, <laughs> just doesn't seem to be any point to me. If it's going to be out of the way under a, a floor or above a ceiling anyway then um, if you did need to get to it and you've had to break a bloody hole in the ceiling why would you then want the additional arsehole of having to uh, chop open the box? Maybe there's a good reason for it, I don't know. This is a slightly different one, this is a through box known as a Wago box light, handy for lighting junctions. Um, so if you've got your down light with your, your wires coming off you, you might take your twin earths into there if it's loop in loop out and splice the down light off that. Um, again, not a bad product. Um, no sharp edges on that one, that's not so bad. Um, now the reason I'm talking about these things today is because, I, like I say, I just come back from an emergency call out. Um, now, a few weeks ago, my local branch of CEF tried to get a bit cheap and uh, moved away, started moving away from Wago as a brand and started putting some other brand on the shelf, which uh, I've got one here. Um, and I have to, I have to actually double check to see which one's which here because, as you can see, we've got one of these is a Wago and one of these is a, a Fago, a fake Wago. And as you can see, they do look absolutely identical. There is a slightly different colouring to the orange, which the camera's got no hope of picking up, but which you can see to the naked eye. And I can tell you that uh, <laughs> this one is the Wago because it does have the Wago logo etched on there, and this one is the Fago whatever brand it may be, I'm not going to name names, which um, looks to all intents and purposes like a Wago, is rated exactly the same, looks like it came off the same production line, um, but uh, has been made by somebody else. Uh, and this fella has just caused us a bit of trouble because um, we've just been to a nursing home where a new light was installed following some water damage a few weeks ago, and overnight uh, all the following lights in the chain failed, which made me, made me think, OK, well, something's obviously gone wrong with the um, the junction above that light. The loop out has, has failed and the power to the lights down the chain have, have, all, have all gone. So I took the light down and got back into the junction where, where we junctioned this off and everything looked OK. Um, but, and I've got a bit of 1mm cable here because it was a 1mm lighting circuit, um, it seems seems to be gripping. On some of the holes, but look at this one. Not this one. That one. That is just not gripping at all. That is super loose. In fact, I could probably shake that off, although I fear it may go into my cup of tea if I do that. And uh, it's a very hot day, and I'm quite desperate to drink that. So uh, that's what the fault was. It was this um, supposedly maintenance free style of connector which has failed. Now I don't know, it wasn't me who actually installed it, it was one of my colleagues. I don't know whether they fitted a wire in and then had to take it back out again for whatever reason and if that's left it damaged inside, but that doesn't happen with the way it goes. You can take it out and that connector is perfectly reusable. Uh, for whatever reason, the spring mechanism in this has failed and left it with a loose connection and um, that loose connection didn't manifest itself at the time that the light was put up. The test results came out okay. Um, the light's been operating, the lights there have been operating for the past few weeks and for whatever reason it's, it's now decided to just pop overnight. I don't know if um, there's been some external influence like a vibration or a, a bit of localised heat that's caused it to, to pop open further and to finally fail um, or what, but there we are, that's the fault and uh, fortunately for us it was still in an accessible location because had this been uh, in a property where perhaps the ceiling had then been plastered over or where we'd uh, junctioned under the floor and then they'd put down some kind of laminate or engineered flooring, we'd have had no hope of getting back to that without causing some serious damage to final finishes, which, uh, as soon as it's our fault that it's failed, we would then be liable for. So, uh, very annoying that, and now I'm going to have to go and... Uh, I, I, I didn't buy too many of these, I, I bought them because um, at City Electrical Factors they'd got them in and I was like, okay, well I'll give them a try. Uh, but I'm now going to have to go through uh, my box of maintenance-free junction connectors and weed out the ones um, of the same brand as this to make sure that we don't end up stuck in this position again. Um, and also, of course, uh, a bit of a, as any loose connection is, a, a straightforward fire hazard. If you've got something that's loose, um, then it's going to arc and spark, and then eventually, potentially, uh, it's going to burn itself out. Um, 
the results of which could be uh, good or bad. How has no such thing as a good burnout, but <laughs> but uh, okay, let's uh, say that as it. it could be um, catastrophic or not. <laughs> but um, yeah, not great. So uh, my advice is to stick with the brands you know, uh, which I normally do anyway for anything I buy. So more for me for um, taking a risk on something else. But again, you know, you think well, it's City Electrical Factors. They're a proper um, commercial wholesaler you expect them to have something on the shelf that isn't some nasty ass uh, wannabe garbage that's pretending to be something it's not and potentially I don't know if this is I don't know if this is a one-off or whether it just I don't even know if this what kind of standards standards this is built to um, to be honest it's got a CE marking on it but um, this could just be some fake Chinese thing for all I know that's got some fake markings on there you just don't know do you um, but you, if you're buying something like this off eBay then you expect to be stiffed over but buying it from an actual wholesaler no no maybe that I'm being unfair here and this is just one bad um, connector out of a million but to be honest I've only bought like a pack of 10 and here I am with a failure and a warranty call out on a Saturday morning whereas I've in all the years I've been working never had any problems with Wago kit, they've worked 100%. So um, there you go. I guess you get what you pay for, and you might pay a few pence more for a box of Wagos, but you won't be losing your sunny Saturday morning going out to a, a nursing home to fix their fault. <laughs>